from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good Friday morning, Penn State. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another week. I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate here with your Friday morning forecast. Notice a beautiful picture starting to unfold behind me on our forecam view. Still plenty of clouds, of course, over central Pennsylvania, but our golf course and our Beaver Stadium camera starting to show lots of color this morning. Taking a closer look at Mount Nittany full screen here. Some beautiful colors starting to appear just as the sun is coming up over central Pennsylvania this morning. Temperature in State College right now is 23 degrees. A little bit warmer around the rest of central Pennsylvania, 25 in Altoona, 28 in Clearfield, and 26 each in Williamsport and in Sealands Grove. There's a slightly thicker ba band of clouds that's just starting to push off to the north and east of no impact to us, of course. Some snow flurries that are showing up on radar are very light in nature and probably not even reaching the ground just because the air over Johnstown right now is fairly dry. Now, all of this is associated with a large low pressure system that also has a twin down in the Gulf of Mexico. The one we're more interested in is centered out over St. Louis, Missouri this morning and is going to be pushing off to the east and to the northeast as we head through the weekend. Starting off with your forecast for today, though, 40 degrees will be the high temperature under a mostly cloudy sky. That's a little bit above average for this time of year temperature wise. Winds out of the northeast around five miles an hour. Now, as we set things into motion on future weather, Evening hours should be fairly dry. Clouds will thicken, may see a spritz of a shower here or there. But then as we head into the overnight hours, Friday into Saturday, the rain becomes more widespread. We'll be seeing predominantly rain, though at the higher elevations can't rule out a little bit of mixed precipitation as well. That is going to continue into the day on Saturday. So for tonight, my forecast 33 degrees. Like I said, mostly rain, maybe a little mixing, especially up towards Phillipsburg and the higher elevations along the ridges. Winds out of the east around 5 to 10 miles an hour. And as we head back to future weather for Saturday, eventually that precipitation is going to clear off to the north and east. May see a little bit of lingering snow and mixed precipitation across the northern tier on Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening before winds shift out of the west and we see a little bit of lake effect snow start to build in out of the Ohio Valley. Saturday, high temperature also going to be 40 degrees. Like I said, clearing in the afternoon, a little bit of rain lingering in the morning. Lake effect snow is uh, going to be arriving late. Here is that lake effect snow for Sunday. Winds going to be eventually shifting to a northwest flow. That's going to be driving the lake effect snow as it typically does here in Pennsylvania in the winter. By Sunday afternoon, I expect that most of it will have uh, wound down here in Pennsylvania. May see a little bit of lingering lake effect precipitation in the state of New York. As we head into the rest of Sunday and begin Monday, it's going to be a fairly inactive night, and by the time you're heading out to classes, we'll be looking for a mix of sun and clouds. Monday is going to stay fairly cloudy, though, as we see here on our seven-day forecast. Temperatures are also going to be fairly uniform. Notice we're just bouncing between 37 and 38 degrees for your high temperatures. Tuesday, we get a little bit of extra clearing. Wednesday shouldn't be too bad, partly cloudy. And Thursday, we are looking at the isolated possibility for a chance of some snow flurries. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate. Have a great weekend.